welcome to the link tonight and today we are discussing uh, a, a word that some may find uh, technical but we are going to break it down insolvency um, it reminds me of science where in something insolvent could not dissolve but it may mean the opposite actually in this in, in this case so stay tuned uh, we are coming back with breaking down this um, animal called insolvency Welcome back. And tonight my guest is uh, Jane Okot Bitek. You insisted I, I say it properly. <laughs> Thank you for that. I know for those who did it, which I think yes, they yes. can make the connection. Mm -hmm. However, tonight we're here to talk about insolvency. Mm -hmm. um, Uganda Registration Services Bureau deals with this issue of insolvency. But somebody listening wonders, what is that? So let's break it down. What is this animal called insolvency? Okay, thank you. Thank you very much. Insolvency is the an inability to pay your debts. Mm. And when it comes to the companies, the law gives you three options. There's what we call receivership. And this really relates mainly to the secured creditors. Companies that have got loans from banks, mm. there's always a provision for a receiver. And that receiver would then help if the company is not paying, mm -hmm. we take over the, as the company, manage it and get the money back okay. to, to the secured creditor. Then we also have administration. Mm -hmm. And this is where the creditors, it, it's, usually it's a strong company. An example is UTL. Yes, you're going to tell them. Very strong financially, but mm. you're not able to pay your debts mm. because you're not liquid. You don't have mm. the cash. No cash. No cash. Mm. So, after the court order, the court appoints what we call an administrator. Okay. And in UTL, the administrator was actually the official receiver. Mm -hmm. And that in URSB is also the registrar general, okay. who is our team leader. Mm -hmm. So the administration uh, is uh, towards corporate rescue, to rescue that company back into profitability, like UTL is a now. It's be, be sort of a big company. Yeah. Mm. yeah. So there's a contract between the creditors and the administrator who's now in charge of the company. If I owe money, if, I, if the company owes me money, there's that contract between me and that company and yes. that person in the middle uh, sorts us out. And exactly. Mm. And these are usually to protect the company mm. so that once we have that agreement, you're not going to sue UTL halfway. Mm. Just let UTL work it out until okay. the administrator, until it's, it's a... So this middleman cools the pressure so the other company can kind of ca revive exactly okay. exactly mm. yeah and there's a lot of trust in you've seen what happened in UTL mm. it's, it's back to profitability okay. it's providing internet mm. and all that and then there's liquidation okay liquidation is now turning the assets into liquid into cash and that is where the these other two options are not available mm. then example we can give is Uchumi Basically, in Uchumi, Uganda, is has been liquidated. Whatever so, assets are got, yeah. are sold off to pay the creditors. Oh, creditors. Creditors. I don't know. I mix sometimes the issues, with the issues. creditors. Yeah. Yes. So, okay, understood. Now, you have described those three things under insolvency. For me, an SME, hmm. I'm not UTL. Hmm. Which of those ca is available for me? All three actually mm. because the SME to grow needs access to capital where you're going to get your capital from mm. the bank mm. and within there you'll have the every bank in their bank loan will have that provision mm. and the SME can can have a court application mm. so that instead of being killed off you know Uganda we have a we don't have a very good record the most entrepreneurial country yes. in the world but also almost like the graveyard of businesses between one to three years so instead of those businesses dying mm. if they they came for what we call the corporate rescue they can be rescued if you apply for administration okay very good mm -hmm. um so how do businesses normally get into insolvency let's go back to the basics what mistakes happen so that i cannot now pay my debts SMEs are listening okay 
many times it's the simple basic issue of not keeping your books books of accounts mm. you have money Instead of keeping it within the business, you divert it to pay school fees mm, and any other wise. things. <laughs> Corporate governance mm. within, what kind of board do you have? Do you have a board? Do you have a management? Or is it because you are the one who started that company, you are the one who must run it? Mm. When the company grows, it outgrows the owner. You need professionals, you need mm. accountants, you need lawyers and all that. Mm, to help you. Yeah. Sometimes it's just simply a bad business decision. Remember, companies mm. make strategies now for the next five years. Yes. In year three you realize in, of implementation, you realize this was a bad mm. idea. And you're insolvent. Okay. Yeah. Very good. So there is a law yes. in Uganda that is called the insolvency law. Mm -hmm. People listening, you are broken down insolvency. Why should? Uh, what's the big deal about this law? Especially if I'm in business, why should I tinker? Why should I get to know what it says? How does it affect me? The law is important because just like businesses are born, businesses die. Mm. Businesses, you may want to exit. Mm. You may be a business that was created for a particular reason and you want to exit. Okay. And that's where uh, you need to understand what insolvency is about. Mm. The law also provides business rescue. So you know that previously it was, if you can't pay your debt, Finished. you're liquidated, mm. you're done. But now there's that option. We have what we call cross-border in insolvency, mm. which the law is not yet out. We are pursuing it. Okay. But for instance, because it's not yet out, we are restricted. We know there is Uchumi, Kenya. Yes. But for Uchumi, we are restricted within Uganda. For Uganda. Yeah. Mm. But those kind of things, we know then you can cross cross the border. Mm. And then we, ha we, are get, we, we are setting up a specialized profession called insolvency practitioners. Mm. You have to be, an, the law says you have to be an accountant okay. or a lawyer or a chartered secretary. Accountants, mm. they do the accounts. Mm. Ch chartered secretaries, are secretaries within the work within the business. Okay. Lawyers, they usually we know the lawyers. you know the lawyers. Mm. So the issue is this: uh, we want people who have stat certain technicality, uh, technical skills mm. to run. Some businesses are big. We we are asking them for indemnity. Uh, for insurance, okay. indemnity insurance, okay. so that if you mess up this company, because mm. a company being insolvent is not actually a death sentence. No. It doesn't mean it has to die. Mm. So you've got to work it out well. So uh, we had the insolvency conference yes. last week, mm. and we actually launched that association. Okay. So we are hoping that... You talked about business rescue. That's very important. Mm. At what point does this business rescue come in, and how does it work? Business rescue is mainly under the administration. Yes, let's go there. The point is, mm. this business is strong financially, mm. but it's not liquid. It's not got there's the cash. No cash flow. I and have assets, but there's, no they're not cash. Cash, no mm. cash. Mm -hmm. And yet, this creditor who gave you his money three months ago wants the cash. Wants his cash. Mm. And the time has passed. Mm. So, Sometimes, like in, in uh, UTL, the government, in its wisdom, yeah. found that we cannot liquidate this big mm. company. We cannot. So you go to court to apply for administration orders. That's protection. Okay. And then you agree with the creditors mm. and have a deal with them. Okay. Yeah. So it's more of uh, a gentle way of dealing with credit. You have your payment plan as well. You tell the creditors, because this is, is not the management that brought the company down no. that is handling it. It's the administrator mm. who has expertise in running the organization. Let's zoom in now. Probably UTL got the URSB yes. uh, general, uh, register general as the administ uh, administrator. Yes. Uh, supposing I cannot access that person, who else can be an administrator for me, a company, a, a private company? Now, I mentioned to you the insolvency practitioners yeah, deliberately. Yeah, yeah. We have a register of, of insolvency practitioners, okay. and we want to regulate it so that not just anybody handles. It's been like that before, and you found that companies are not actually benefiting from their, their assets, mm. and you find assets getting lost and all that. So there are a list. At the moment, we, it's, it's new, register, we have about 31. Okay. 
but it's growing. We launched the association. Mm -hmm. It's going to grow. So all the all those practitioners, they're experts. They're experts. Mm. They're so when experts. they come into the company, what do they do that have not been doing? They manage the company mm. better than you have been doing. Okay. And many times these companies need to understand that there's something they were doing wrong, mm. and they need to let go. An example is given of Yuga Chick. Yes. At some point it was going down. Mm. It agreed when the bank said, can we take over take the management? Mm. It agreed. Mm. Isn't it one of the best companies? So they rescued it. Res it. Yes, it mm. was rescued. Mm. It was rescued. So what happens? Uh, workers fired, uh, salaries reduced. What do I expect mm. if I get an administrator into my space? Not necessarily. Mm. Because you need the workers. And usually it's the top management mm. that has been a problem. Mm. So you'll notice even for UTL, the top management What's had to go. Mm. For you, Gachi, they, they were told to, to step aside. Mm. Yeah. So the rest of the staff are usually quite safe. Okay. Yeah. So if this person does their job now, how do I come back? What's, how do I come back into, into this space? The uh, administration is for a period. Okay. Like for UTL, it's six months, then you keep renewing until you get there. It's mm. not indefinite. Okay. Yeah. Let's get to winding up a company. Yes. Now it has to wind up. You say it can also be. There's something, if it's handled well, can be a good thing. How? When I'm winding up? Uh, sometimes businesses mm. are set up for particular purpose. Mm. Some are called special purpose vehicles. Mm. And winding up is an exit. It's an exit. Mm. Like you, we have exit even us to, to, from life. Yes. <laughs> you die. <laughs> yeah. So. Winding up is, is good even for investors that mm. come in because you come in, you say, let's do this special purpose vehicle. Once you've set your agenda and running, I want to get, get out, out and go to the next country mm. to, to in, invest. But also, winding up, it, it's import, the importance of winding up, mm. especially when you're done with a business, is that it extinguishes all liabilities. Mm. We have, I have an example of a client who mm. called mm. Because she had got a new posting, she said, ah, I'm done with this company of mine. And sent down out the workers mm -hmm. and everything. Mm -hmm. Two years down the line, it goes to the email, and it's full of URA. They want their, they want their money. They want their tax. Yes. yes. So she calls me, what's happening? I said, did you wind up? Mm -hmm. No, I did not. So come and wind up. And then you close all your obligations, mm -hmm. all your legal obligations. Even with us, the obligations to file returns at URSB and all that. But once you wind up, that is it. Okay. Was, well, is winding up only about good things? Supposing I am in trouble, and we have one and a half minutes here. Supposing I'm in trouble, how do I wind up? There are three types of winding up. Yes. One is the voluntary, the members. Mm. And that's an example of we finish, we're done with this project, mm. let's wind up. Mm. And you, you, you apply mm. and you come over to us and we will help you take you through the processes. Because okay. there are resolutions, there are directors, declarations and all that. Mm. The other is the creditors. Yes. Creditors can apply for, for the company to be wound up. That the people who I owe money apply that my company gets wound. wound up because mm. that means they are going to liquidate your company the mm. company and they get back their cash okay yeah and then also there's under court order okay yeah so if I come to you finally to wind up mm. how can I get a good deal even if creditors are just liquidating my company can I get something out because of coming to you yes mm. the liquid the official receiver the, the receiver the person who's actually carrying a receiver for the, bar, the secured creditors, the administrator, yes. or the liquidator, mm. they have to account. The creditors are lined up uh, under liquidation. You start with the liquidator's expenses, okay. and then the taxes, mm -hmm. and then the wages yes. <laughs> of the staff, yeah. and then the rest of the unsecured creditors. Whatever money is, and you have to account. Yes. Whatever money is left goes to the Me, owners, especially you, the shareholders. Ah, technical subject, <laughs> 15 minutes not enough. Viewers, um, that is insolvency. We have been trying to break it down in 15 minutes. If you haven't grasped it, go back to this show on, U uh, on YouTube, our YouTube channel of NTV, and listen slowly again. But you can go to URSB exactly. and look for Madame Okot Bitek. <laughs> specifically yeah. and you're gonna get more information on this because it can be important for you going forward that's the link tonight